Hi, I'm Samantha, and I'm the HR manager here at Best Air. And today on the podcast, we have Julio Bello. Julio, say hi. What's going on, guys? So today we're going to be talking about um, plumbing and HVAC emergencies and things to do on an install. So what are the first steps in a plumbing emergency? The uh, first steps in a plumbing emergency, um, if you're trying to isolate a leak, um, you'll want to find the uh, shutoff valve um, supplying that water source. So um, getting to the uh, valve, shutting it off, whether it be directly in your fixture or in your garage over by your water heater um, or your um, pressure regulating valve, which is typically going to have the main valve that closes off the water to the entire house. So if I was having this problem, would I be able to call into Best and they would let me know the steps of how to turn it off over the phone or... For the most part, they will walk, you know, the homeowners through on trying to, again, um, isolate, you know, the situation. And then, of course, it'd be best that, you know, you probably call a professional, you know, plumber to go out and, you know, assess the situation. So, yeah, I mean, again, just isolate the uh, the leak. Um, if it's a drain leak, then, I mean, that's usually kind of it happens once. And then, obviously, you don't, you're not going to want to flush the toilet. And see it happen again, right? If, right. If, if if it's a clogged toilet, you flush it, you see it coming up, and you're like, "Oh, geez, it's clogged." So, you know, let me call a plumber. You know, so. So, how should the homeowners handle an HVAC breakdown? Uh, if your system is not uh, heating or cooling, um, I think the most important thing is to basically shut off the equipment. Um, you know, directly from your thermostat. So, of course. Um, well, keeping it on make it worse. Or yes, I mean, you, you just. You don't necessarily want to leave it on because a lot of people, you know, what they do is, let's say, um, during the summertime, if the system's not cooling, uh, what they expect is, oh, let me go turn the temperature down on the thermostat. You know, it'll start working maybe. That's what exactly what I would That's, do. Yeah. No, <laughs> you don't ever want to do that. Um, if you notice that it's just not, you know, cooling, um, what I, you know, would suggest, um, of course, um, kind of a tip for homeowners, again, is just, you know, turn the system off um, from the thermostat. So typically you'll have, you know, three options, your cool, off, heat. Um, if you're calling for cooling, it's not cooling, um, switch it over to off. If you're calling for heat, you're not feeling any heat, switch it to off. Um, then you can give it about an hour rest, turn it on and see if it, you know, starts working. Um, if it doesn't at that point, um, of course, a homeowner wouldn't necessarily have, you know, the abilities to troubleshoot the system. So you'll probably want to call, you know, a professional. So how long should a homeowner wait before they realize that their AC or heating isn't working? Do you give it like an hour or before, once you notice, how long should you wait? Again, I mean, it, you know, it, it, it depends on the ma the demand as well. Mm -hmm. Like, let's say in the summertime, you'll probably call, you know, a company out. Um, I know that here at Best, uh, getting to the customer right away is priority. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we typically try to get to the customers like, ASAP. Um, but there's, you know, tons of, you know, systems going out daily um, in the summertime. So some homeowners can't necessarily um, get a contractor out to their property to check out the problem um, till, you know, several hours down, you know, down that, you know, that day. So at that point, it's like, okay, again, going back to what I said earlier, if you shut off the thermostat and let it, you know, let the system rest for about an hour, two hours um, till, you know, the contractor goes out there, then you can go ahead and, you know, try kicking it on again. And of course, usually you'll notice, you know, the system working within, you know, 30 minutes to an hour. Mm -hmm. And if you notice that it's not cooling or heating still, again, you'll just want to shut that off. So so with your professional experience, what maintenances can prevent emergency situations? Um, the maintenance that a homeowner can do, of course, um, that they'll be doing at home, um, for one, is uh, their filters. Um, air filters are very important uh, to, you know, make sure that you guys are keeping up with replacing the filters. Um, you know, a lot of homeowners think that the filter that's being replaced is to filter out the air that, you know, one breathes inside their home. Um, more importantly, it's actually filtering out your um, AC. Um, you know, you want to make sure that you replace that filter. Typically, it's once a month. You know, some filters, um, some filter manufacturers, you'll see like um, printed on their labels and such say, you know, you can change that filter up, you know, for up to three months. Um, in my personal experience, in my house, I replace my filter once a month, sometimes even once every three weeks. So why do you change your filters every three weeks in your home? So again, you know, going back to the indoor air quality products, mm -hmm. um, 
there's all sorts of cleaning, you know, air products that exist. Um, I have two at home. Um, one is basically called an ionizer. And what that does, it, you know, basically emits positive and negative ions into the air. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a little more, you know, on the science side. But um, these ions basically attract um, particles that we can't typically see. Um, they, it, it attracts these particles in the air um, into one to make them a lot more dense. Therefore, the larger, you know, dense products or particles um, are be- are being able to be trapped or captured by my air fil- my air filter, and therefore my air filter is now getting, you know, dirtier more often because of this, you know, cleaning or ionizer product that I have at my house. Mm-hmm. So that's the reason, you know, before I even had that, I was changing my filter once, you know, every two three months because I would go over to my filter and I'd see it and it'd look, you know okay after a month you know on the second month it's like okay now it's getting dirty and then by the third month it's like okay yeah it really needs replaced now um then i ended up you know getting into the ionizer products um i you know threw it in and literally shortly within like three you know weeks after i put in a new one is when i noticed it was you know super filthy so i'm like i think you know the product is doing what it should be doing because i'm now i'm replacing it more often so it, it does, you know, cost me now a little more because I'm replacing it. Mm-hmm. But I know that, you know, I've I've got cleaner air because it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. So is that something you'd recommend for a homeowner? Uh, always. Yeah. Um, especially, you know, homeowners that have, you know, problems with uh, asthma, allergies, um, you know, homeowners that have got children, kids. Um, you don't necessarily want to be breathing, uh, you know, dirty air inside your home. Um, believe it or not, they say that the air inside our homes is a lot worse than the air that's outside in the ambient. So mm-hmm. um, it's very important that you actually have cleaning products inside your home um, so that you're actually cleaning or breathing, you know, clean air inside your home. So, yes, it's very important that you guys, you know, that you probably have a, you know, professional um, provide, you know, the homeowners different, you know, uh, products that they offer for, you know, obviously cleaner air. So, yeah. So, Julio, when is it critical to call a professional immediately? Um, I think that depends on the homeowner because truthfully, again, you know, in my experience, I've had homeowners call two years, you know, um, later where, you know, they're, they're, they're explaining to me and they're saying, Hey, I haven't had, you know, my AC working for the last two years. And it's like, oh, oh, what made you wait, you know, for two years, you know, and now all of a sudden you're calling, you know, about your AC, maybe two years ago, it wasn't as hot, you know, in the middle of the summer. And this summer, you know, it's, it's a lot more hotter. I don't know. Maybe they just, it, it depends, you know, but for the most part, if it's really bugging the homeowner, um, if it's, if it's becoming an inconvenience for the homeowner, um, that's, you know, usually of course, when you'll want to, you know, call a professional out. Um, so, so if my unit wasn't working for two years, is there any chance of saving it or am I going to have to get a new unit? It, it, uh, again, I mean, only a professional will be able to tell you exactly, um, you know, what, 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 what's the probabilities of, you know, bringing that system back up to, you know, would they have to see it first? Yes. Um, of course we'd have to be able to see the equipment, you know, I don't think I've ever had a homeowner have an issue with, you know, newer equipment and they've waited several years for a professional to go out and, you know, assess the, the, the situation with this new equipment. For the most part, it's, you know, equipment that's over, you know, 20, 30 years old, um, And at that point, yes, you know, if it's that old, you know, you're probably just your best bet is, you know, trying to get something more efficient um, Mm -hmm. because it's going to cost a lot. And, you know, at the end of the day, you'll just be a lot more um, comfortable with new equipment. It's going to be more efficient. So it's going to save you lots of money for sure. So, Gotcha. Okay, so it would be basically cheaper to get a newer system. Yes, in the long run. Okay. Yeah, because, again, just dumping too much, you know money into a system that's just outdated um and we don't necessarily know that you know next summer you know so a year later it goes out again not necessarily the same issue but something else could be something more expensive you know something less expensive you know but at that point again it's just it's a lot easier you know going with you know a new system and having that peace of mind of hey i don't have to worry for the next 10 years because typically um, new systems will come, you know, with 10 year manufacturer warranty mm-hmm. um, and the labor warranty from, you know, the contractor depends, you know, there's, 
anywhere from one year to 10 years, depending on what the homeowner decides to go with. So, yeah. Okay. And can smart devices help in detecting uh, potential emergency situations? Yes, there are. um, With technology evolving, um, I have seen, you know, other products um, coming along that um, are supposed to be um, alerting, you know, homeowners about certain situations. Like I believe um, Moen Manufacturer, which is a plumbing um, company, uh, they've they've you know come up with this product where I believe you turn it, you're you're tying it in, or you know you're installing this um, device into your main water line, and it's supposed to work off of you know Wi-Fi. Um, is that one of our competitor companies? N- no. Um. No, Moen is basically again. It's it's kind of like one of those manufacturers like Linux. Um, okay. you know, Goodman, whatever. It's just another manufacturer basically, but it's for plumbing more so. And so you install this product again in the, uh, main water supply for your home. Uh, you set it up, you know, through your phone, or your computer, however you want to set it up for. And typically it'll, it'll alert the homeowners. Let's say if it's, if it all of a sudden picks up a constant water flow mm-hmm. where, you know, it's saying, Hey, you know, something's wrong because something's consistently running. It'll notify the homeowner, you know, via text message or email, whatever. And what about for HVAC? Do we have something like that for HVAC? I have yet to uh, see, you know, something with HVAC. Um, I would, I would like to think of it as like a car, like when it's about to go out, like our check engine light comes on, but for yes. HVAC, I mean, it, our it, unit. It, I don't know if on the aftermarket side, um, it exists, and what that means is, um, aftermarket is more so of like a, a, a product that you're installing, um after the fact that you've installed, you know, the system rather than the system that you're installing per se comes with, you know, that feature. Mm -hmm. Um, So yes, like one of our top notch, you know, line uh, products with Lennox, um, which is our ultimate package. Essentially it's the most efficient unit. It's all communicating. Um, Basically that unit does have a feature where not only will it notify the homeowner of, you know, the um, defects that it's picking up, if the homeowner decides that they want to set it up to where the contractor that is installing it gets notifications, they can also um, set that up and the contractor will get basically the alerts anytime that system goes down. Um, so let's say, you know, the homeowner calls, hey, I've got a problem. Contractor can easily pull that up on their end. They don't even mm-hmm. have to go to the house. They'll be able to, you know, pull it up on the on, on the website, whatever, on their, you know, diagno- the diagnosis portal. And see exactly the codes just like a car um see exactly what's going on and be able and to kind of we offer that we, we we here at best yes we do offer ultimate pa- um ultimate systems where they're all communicating and we can set that up you know so yes uh definitely some good products out there um that can help again um detect uh, you know, defects, you know, in systems, whether it be plumbing or HVAC. Is there anything else um, besides the ultimate package that we offer that can benefit the homeowner in the same way? Um, yes. I mean, there's all, again, there's different kinds of products. Um, I can go off into hundreds probably. Um, but again, the best bet is to have, you know, one of our, you know, customer service reps probably uh, take your call, take the homeowner's call. Um, they can set up, you know, an appointment with one of our professionals. Uh, our professional will go out there give you a better breakdown of, you know, all the products that we offer. Um, and of course it will be at, you know, the homeowner's, um, decision to decide on what kind of products they want to install for their home. So yes, um, call the professional out. Well, thank you, Julio, for coming on the podcast today. I appreciate all the knowledge you've given us. Of course, anytime, um, I'd be willing to do it again. Um, whatever questions you guys have, you know, I'm here to answer it. So perfect. Thank you. All right. See you guys next week. 